today I have a really fun read aloud for you. A hundred billion trillion stars. Can you imagine so many of anything? Our author is Seth Fishman and it's illustrated by Isabel Greenberg. A hundred billion trillion stars. And this is a number, or a book all about big, big numbers. Wow. What's going on in this illustration? I see a lot of things happening. A hundred billion trillion stars. Let me tell you a secret. The sun is just a star. Did you know that? And there are maybe 100 billion trillion stars. That's a really big number. Circling around our star, here it is, our sun, is a planet that is blue and green. Us. Blue because it is covered by 370 billion billion gallons of water. Now these numbers are so big that I can't read them just by looking at the number. So the author so kindly included down here the words for how to say it. So it says 370 billion billion. Thank you to the author for including that. Green because it's covered in three trillion trees. Wow, that's a lot of trees. I didn't realize it was that many. On the other side of the planet where the sun isn't shining, you can see bright lights like little stars all over its surface. Those are the lights that come from 2,500,000 cities and towns and villages filled with people. Some even reading books, like I am right now. I'm one of those people. Just like you. Oh, the author knew. Look at all these people reading books in all their different homes. So I'm saying hello to you. Seven billion five hundred million people live in those cities and on that planet. But do you want to know another secret? So do 10 quadrillion ants. The strange thing is that 7,500,000,000 humans weigh about the same as 10 quadrillion ants. Wow. There are enough ants on this earth to make the same weight as you and me, and every other person on Earth. I wonder how many ants make each of us. Which is still only a small fraction, up or portion, of the 13 million, billion, billion pounds that the planet weighs itself. Our planet weighs 13 million, billion, billion pounds. Those are very big numbers. That's heavy enough to make a big dip in space and pull the moon into orbit where it circles and circles the Earth 240,000 miles away. This dip is a force called gravity. Gravity is also what pulls you back to the ground when you try to jump to the moon. There's somebody jumping up into the sky towards the moon, but I don't think they'll get that far. Two hundred and forty thousand miles is about ten times around the Earth, or almost four hundred and twenty million U's, or dogs, or smaller snakes, or guitars, or baseball bats lined up 
head to foot. Now, take a deep breath and hold it for five seconds. Just do that another 6,307,200 times and you will be a year older. Or don't, you'll be a year older in 31,536,000 seconds anyway. There's that many seconds in a year. This entire world is filled with crazy numbers built one on top of the other, making it whole and complete. There are about 1,620 trillion raindrops in an average thunderstorm. That's just in one thunderstorm. The highest wave ever surfed was as tall as a 10-story building. The average person walks something like 100,000 miles in their lifetime, or five times around the world. A great white shark has about 300 teeth. You have 20, but you will have 32 when you get older. Unless you've lost some teeth already, you might have less than 20 right now. Only 546 people have been in space. The longest a person has spent in space at one time is 437 days, which is longer than a year. Someone went to space for longer than a year. There are probably at least 37 billion rabbits in the world. In the course of an average lifetime, you might eat up to 70 pounds of bugs or more. The tallest building in the world is 2,722 feet tall and it is in Dubai. That's on the other side of the world from where we are. By the time you're done reading this book, almost every single number in it will have changed, getting bigger or smaller right before your eyes. Even the number of stars. Blast off! I can tell you one more secret about something you can find somewhere among the 100 billion trillion stars. How does that number written all the way out? I had to check the cover to make sure I got the number right. There's only one of you right here, right now reading this book. And here's an author's note and I'd like to read it to you. I think I owe you an explanation. I'm sure you're wondering how in the wide world I know the number of stars or ants or raindrops. I definitely didn't pull out a telescope, look up into the night sky and begin counting. If I did that, I would spend my entire life at that telescope and would never come close to finishing. Instead, I discovered them through scientific articles and math and very intelligent guesswork and the help of a genius I know named Randall Monroe. These numbers are sort of definitely almost true. Let me explain. Some of the numbers change so quickly that to give you an exact number would be impossible. For instance, we don't really know if the full weight of all the ants on Earth equals the full weight of the humans, but we can estimate and estimate means to make a guess based on what we are, what we do know is true. Lost my spot. We can estimate that there are 3.5 million ants per acre in the Amazon rainforest with some serious snooping, fact checking and extrapolating, which is using the information we already know and uh, figuring out the next step and the next step. We can estimate a very large number of ants on earth one that means that the combined weight of all the ants should be near the combined weight of all humans, or maybe dogs or mice. And yes, you might eat some of those ants. You might eat many different types of bugs, though of course I don't know exactly how many or whether you'll do it on purpose. Maybe a fly will zip into your mouth as you bike or you'll swallow a spider while you snore at night, but it will be near 70 pounds worth over the course of your life, about the total weight of a golden retriever. It's a lot of bugs and it's a true thing. People eat bugs, sometimes on purpose and sometimes on accident. Estimates can help you 
Imagine sizes and compare one big fact to another. That is why this book is called 100 billion trillion stars and not 119 sextillion 57 quintillion 737 quadrillion 183 trillion 462 billion 307 million 491,609 stars. We can get very near for the correct number on many things, near enough for us to understand how big they are, especially in comparison to the world around us. Here's what is really important. These huge numbers around us are everywhere. They're in atoms and ants and stars linking everything together. You have the exact same thing that the stars are made out of inside of you. And the sun, just a star, has some of you in it too. So the next time that you're staring at the night sky, don't bother counting the stars. Just watch them all shine. A hundred billion trillion stars. Can you imagine so many of anything?